shaka kwa namna hiyo na kukaribisha katika kipindi mfahamu kiongozi hii leo nipo kwa ke gavana wa kaunti ya Bungoma mheshimiwa Kenneth Lusaka kusikia story na historia yake kuzaliwa wapi life ilikuwa namna gani away from busy schedule of politics leadership and everything else what does he do away from that who is he when he is home from bars of the cities and everything else kusa tuko ni breakfast ni mtu mfungulia takuwa namna gani Hi governor Very well How are you Very well very well Your home Hapa ndio home Tani change viatu Umekwaje Salama kabisa Tuko Uliamua huko area ya huko ndio nyumbani huko ndio nyumbani all right mm -hmm. thank you karibu, for welcoming karibu. me here yes all right mm -hmm. you have a very beautiful home Excellent. thank you beautiful beautiful home thank you for the compliment uh -huh. right nikuaje nakuwa salama kabisa shughuli zimekuaje zimekuwa sawa sawa uliamua nyumbani ni nyumbani yeah, kutoka yes. kutoka senate kutoka senate yes. nikarudi hapa mahali nilikuwa hapo okay. i'd like to hear your story because i know many people admired this man governor lusaka but away from that he is coming from something somewhere and also we know very well when you're not working when you're not leading there are other things you do zenye tungependa kuona baadaye ulizaliwa wapi mimi nimezaliwa hapa inaitwa mapera village e, mapera ni jina ambayo ili, ilipewa mahali hapa kwa sababu kulikuwa na mapera mengi sana hapa E, tukiwa zimeishaisha kidogo kwa sababu ya mambo tunaongea change of climate na mambo ya development zile zimekuja uh, ana nilizaliwa hapa mapera katika kamkuyu uh, division uh, kimilili uh, sub county bungoma county katika familia ya watu wangapi familia ya watu wanane lakini wale ambao wako hai tuko sita mungu wao ndio ameruhusu wao mungu ameruhusu sita mzee ndiye alienda pia na ndugu yangu na dada yangu mmoja. So mama bado yupo. Mama bado yupo. Maisha ilikuwa namna gani? Mm. Maisha ilikuwa ni yale tu tulikuwa baba na mama walikuwa walimu wa primary school ambayo iko tu hapa. Kwa hivyo mimi nimelelewa tu kwa kama watoto wa kawaida. Uh, hustle hustle kidogo tukienda shule licha kwa. Lakini at least walikuwa na wengi walikuwa, walikuwa, eh, walikuwa na jiweza kidogo standard za wakati huo eh, walimu ndio walikuwa at least katika jamii lakini challenges ilikuwa ni kwamba tulikuwa wengi so lazima tulikuwa tulikuwa wengi kama kama nane watoto nane unajua kutoka kwa mama mmoja kutoka mama mmoja so kwa hivyo lazima kila mtu achitaye wewe last born ama first born mimi ndio first born eh yeah, mimi ndio first born kuzote tunaambiwa first borns mm. they are like the mothers and fathers yes, they yes, own yes. the family mm. uh -huh. aifu kasema ilikuwa ngumu so ilikuwa ngumu kidogo maisha ya kawaida tu sio ati ngumu vile lakini kuruku kukuwa tuna vijana wa kawaida unaenda kuchunga ngombe kidogo mbuzi jumapili tunaenda kwa kanisa nilikuwa sana sana uh, wazazi waliimiza mambo ya Sunday school na baadaye nikalelewa kwa hiyo nje ya ya Ukristo uh, sana paka sasa hivi ukienda kanisani ukienda kanisani kutoka pale nikaenda primary school ambayo iko hapa kamkuya AC primary school uh, from standard 1 no 1 nilianzia huko Tambachi my aunt alikuwa anaishi kwa hivyo niliishi na kidogo ndio nikarudi hapa nikafanya CP 1976 kutoka hapo 1976 nikajiunga na shule ya upili ya Kibabi High School kama from 1977 kutoka mm -hmm. 1977 we have this one yes 1977 paka 1980 nikamaliza form 4 ala kutoka hapo nikajiunga na shule ya upili ya Friend School Kamsinga kwa form 5 and 6 8182 nikafanya mtihani lakini si kupata unajua wakati huo kulikuwa lazima upate points fulani ndio chuo kikuu kwa hivyo si kufanya na minimum kuingia chuo kikuu eh, unajua kilikuwa na chuo kikuu Nairobi na Kenyatta uh, hizi zingine zimekuja Moi Maseno zimekuja baadaye mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nilihitaji upate point minimum 10 kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya arts kwa hivyo wakati si kupata points kumi nilienda Chesamis High School mm -hmm. which is also here Eh, kurudia ndio uongezee ndio niongezee points kwa kurudia Chesamis eh, mwaka 1983 nikawa nimefuzu sasa eh, nikawa namba 1 katika shule hiyo eh, sasa kujiunga na chuo kikuu eh, wakati huo wote ndoto yako ya ukienda chuo kikuu ilikuwa eh, unajua hapo uwezi kujua sana lakini nilikuwa sana sana nimefanya mambo ya literature 
mambo ya drama nilikuwa mzuri sana katika drama mm -hmm. na mambo ya, ya geography mm -hmm. so um, e, lakini ni yangu ilikuwa niende chuo kikuu so baada e, niende chuo kikuu university niende kusomea nilikuwa sana sana na, 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 na nilifurahia kazi ya utawala mm -hmm. na maybe baadaye nitaguzia nilikuja nikapata kazi ya utawala mm -hmm. lakini kabla ya kwenda chuo kikuu baada ya kufusu e, form 6 E, nilienda National Youth Service NYS unajua nilikuwa sasa kujiunga na chuo kikuu lazima uende NYS hapo NYS ikawa uh, 1985 nilienda mwezi mwezi wa May tukatoka August TV kabla hapo nilikuwa nafundisha kama mwalimu uh, and trained teacher shule iko hapa mliona barabara inaitwa St Mary Socio ya yeah. uh, ilikuwa sisi ndio tulipiga haso yes hapo ndio tulianzishia so katika chuo eh, katika NYS tukakutana na kama our current deputy president Rigathi Kashagwa ulikuwa rafiki yangu tangu eh, tukiwa NYS eh uh, mbunge wa Tongareni Chikati ilikuwa that was our class uh, kulikuwa na we, watu wengi sana ambao mlikutana hata 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 huyu rich huyu anaitwa Ndi huyu huyu pia that's our class David David Ndi hiyo uh, ndio ilikuwa class yetu uh, miguna miguna hiyo uh, ndio ilikuwa class yetu uh, Robert Buke So baada ya hapo nikajiunga na chuo kikuu nikafanya uh, uh, shahada ya uh, Bachelor of Arts uh, Literature History na Geography mm -hmm. lakini wakati nilienda second year ikabidi niwache literature nilikuwa napenda literature lakini literature nayo ilikuwa inahitaji kusoma sana mm -hmm. na mimi sikupenda vitu vya kusoma sana nilikuwa nataka nikuwe na time vitu you know my time zangu nini sasa <laughs> nikaachana na mambo ya literature <laughs> licha ya kwamba niliendelea kufanya drama uh, traveling theater Uh, in fact wakati wa traveling theater and the act the burdens mm -hmm. by John Ruganda tulikuja tukaenda kwa shule huko tuki and it was a set book then yeah. i also acted the merchant of venice mapepari wa venice najua nimefanya merchant of venice the other day by william shakespeare mimi nilikuwa antonio mm -hmm. eh, kama unaikumbuka sawa so, eh, na pasha eh, pasha na eh, kina posha tulikuwa na kina shylock lorenzo, Shai lorenzo yes. shylock mm -hmm. na nawakumbuka wale oh. uh, so nikafanya nika fanya kwa hivyo nikamalizia na history na geography na 1988 yes. baada ya kumaliza nikatama kidogo tu muda mfupi nikaitwa public service uh, commission eh, kuojiwa nikitaka kazi uh, so um, i was interviewed na kwa bahati nikateuliwa kama administrative officer uh, tukapeleka kwa KAE na kumbuka tarehe 16 January 1989 uh, tukaanza safari hiyo na wayo, tena huyu deputy president kwa hivyo huu rafiki ulianzia bali. Tulianza bali sana, tumekuwa zaidi ya miaka 30. Ah uh, kutoka hapo nikakuwa posted KC kwenda sasa kuanza kazi kama mtawala kama district officer. Na hiyo ndiyo kazi yenye umefanya kwa kipindi kipindi kirefu sana. Eh hey, kutoka hapo nikakuwa dio, nikaenda keumbu kule kwa nyachae. Kutoka huko nikapostiwa Muhoroni wakati sasa ilikuwa siasa ya mfumo wa vyama vingi imechacha kabisa. Ford Kenya, ilikuwa Ford Kenya na sasa Kanu nikapelekwa nika kule nikamaliza nikapelekwa Homa Bay mm -hmm. e, kama DO1 mm -hmm. na hapo pia nikapata scholarship ya kwenda kufanya masters mm -hmm. so masters nikaenda e, Holanzi e, Netherlands nilikuwa the Hague the famous Hague e, nikaenda kusoma nikafanya shahada ya pili ya public policy and administration so, kwa hivyo ni wakati nimerudi nakuja mpaka wakati huu wote umeoa nilikuwa nimeoa nilioa Leo na mwaka wa 1989. Tulikutana wapi? chuo kikuu. Ah, uh, tulikutana ite ite katika kura. Ilikuwa kura kali sana hapa Webuye. E, tukakutana hapo tukiwa lakini wote tulikuwa katika chuo kikuu mimi nilikuwa. So ukajionea mrembo kule chuo. E, mbele ya mke wangu. Uh, nikamwona kwa hiyo muda huo wote nilikuwa nimeoa. Kifanya hayo. Kifanya hayo yote nikakuja nikakuwa e, e, nikamalizia kama Dio Anel Dama Ravin nikakuwa promoted nikaenda kwa ofisi ya PC kidogo, kidogo kama msaidizi pale na kuru baadaye nikaenda Kajado kama mkuu wa wilaya nikahudumu kule na marehemu Saitoti nikatoka pale nikatumwa Marakwet e, kama mkuu wa wilaya nikatoka pale nikaenda Moranga nikafanya na Michuki kama mkuu wa wilaya hapo nilipata promotion ya kwenda katika ofisi ya rais kama katibu wa kwanza kusimamia masuala ya utawala wa mkoa ni baadaye nikakuja nikapanda nikakuwa katibu wa kudumu katika wizara ya ustawi wa mifugo hiyo part nyingine ningependa kuisikia maana you keep fit tangu nikuone uko tu hivi and i know it's not by chance that unaamka uko fit hiyo story nyingine ningependa kusikia ukiniambia ukinionyesha why you keep fit 
Me, I keep fit to Najua Niliaza Mazoezi over 20 years ago. And you see, ya, ya kuka vile ninaka. Uh, kwa sababu ni kiamuka, huwa naenda gym. Hata nita kuonyesha gym niko na Yo, gym ndiyo nige penda 20. Morning, hapa ndiyo unanzia? Saa ngapi? Six. In the morning. morning. Okay. Ama kama ni nakuwa na kazi nyingi, okay. naweza kukuja nifanye jioni. Baada ya kufanya jioni ya kazi. Ya kazi, but it's always good kuwaza in the morning. Kwa sababu then, inakupatia, unakuwa alert, mentally alert. Mentally alert. Eh, eh. Unafanya like how many minutes? Karibu one hour plus. Nafanya 40. Uh -huh. Cardio, hiyo ni kwa machines. Uh -huh. Hii tummy trainer, na hii treadmill. Uh -huh. Alafu nikimaliza na fanya lifts kuinua hii, hii ni ya, hii ni ya tumbo. Hiyo eh. ni ya tumbo? Hiyo ni ya tumbo, hiyo ni ya cardio. Mm -hmm. Kila lala hapo ni kiinua. Kiinua. Eh. Kikisha kwamba your breath iko sawa. Yes. Then badai unamalizia na? Namalizia na hizi. Mm -hmm. And then sasa nafanya stretches. Eh, stretches. Nakisha you, you start your day. That's How efficient. does your day look like? Um, of course, you know, being a politician, nakupata tuko na watu wengi sana. Mbao mm wanakuja -hmm. hapa. Wako na shida mbali mbali, school fees wengine wagonjwa. So ni na watu wangu ambao wanaenda, wanafanya what is called, uh, wana, wana wavet, wanajua ni gani, anataka. Kuna pao kuna wengine ambao wana kunyanga kila siku. Sasa wale lazima wawe marked kwa mba, kama wamekuja na mekusaidia, at least upatia wengine na fasi. Kuna watu wana hapa ndiyo nyumbani. Wana kuja hapa ndiyo nyumbani, tunawakaribisha almost on a daily basis. So like, like a day, how many people can you see? Ay, watu wengi, inaweza kuwata 50. Uh, 50 or my other a hundred, both hapa na kule bungoma kwenye office. Mm -hmm. So sometimes ni kiwa na mikutano zingine na schedule hapa. Mm -hmm. So kuna schedule meetings na kupata, especially kama leo umeona, ni mikuwa na kutana na ASK, mm -hmm. national officials na wale wa county, mm -hmm. sorting out certain, certain issues. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, ni na kutana na watu yangu ya human resource mm -hmm. kusort out vitu fulani. So mm -hmm. kuna yu mikutano ambayo tuna schedule, mm -hmm. and then also zingine, ninaenda field. So nikiona kama watu kama paka saa 3 saa 4 ninaenda sasa field ku ku maybe kwa kukagua miradi na kutana na wanaingi na kufanya baraza na kuongea na wao. Yaani umekuwa mtu wa nyumbani kabisa 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 kabisa. Yeah. How did you find yourself in politics? Hiyo ndio kitu ningependa kusikia um, while we are walking out of this place. Yes. Like in Abuja there are a lot of activities. Yes. Then you do. Politics najua si kwa hata nime nilikuwa nimeamua kwamba politics ninge Ningeingia baada ya kumaliza kazi yangu ya um, ya utawala ya ya utawala hapa nilikuwa niende uh, ningeingia siasa baada ya kumaliza huduma yangu ya ya, ya public kama public servant uh, sababu so kama ningekuwa in public service ile ya kawaida ningekuwa na retire September mwaka huu so nilikuwa nimejipanga kwamba nitaingia siasa baada ya kufanya public service lakini wakati sasa tulikuwa na katiba mpya ikaingia uh, ikawa wamebadilisha mfumo wa mambo mengi devolution ikaingia na mimi wakati huo kumbuka nilikuwa katibu wa kudumu katika wizara ya livestock so nikaona nikapiga hesabu nikaona hata serikali gani ikiingia hakuna vile sisi wote tulikuwa 43 mnaweza toshea toshea katika serikali ile kama ilikuwa ya uhuru ama ya Raila kwa hivyo mimi nikajipanga nikakuja ground na unajua wakati nilikuwa PS Likuwa nimesaidia watu kusana na mambo ya ngombe. Likuwa na muradi katika wizara. So kuwazia Mount Elgon, wa mama wengi, big groups niliwapatia ngombe. Kwa hivyo likawa nimejulikana. Na nikiwa eh, pia DC na DO, nilikuwa na tournament, nilikuwa na hitua Lusaka Cup, mambo ya youth. Kwa hivyo, jina ilikuwa imetembea kila mahali. Kwa hivyo nikaona kufanya utafiti kidogo, nikaona, ah, naweza kuingia yeah, kwenye siyasa, naweza kujaribu, nikuja. Yo nikateuliwa kuwa governor wa kwanza 2013. Yes. Na watu eh, miambili, arubaina, tatu, elf. 143,000 ambao ni first governor Bungoma. Hivyo ndiyo niliingia siyasa. Badai. Badai, nikakuja, nika, nikakuja 2017. Nikakuja, lakini unajua ya vile ilikuwa. Mimi nikawa, nimesimama na chama ya rais Uhuru Kenyata na Ruto Jubilee. Na huku ikakuwa hiko ni NASA ndiyo wengi. Sasa tukakangana, tukapambana, lakini siku faulu. Lakini nikashindwa na kura elfu ishirini. Lakini baada ya hapo, uh, mwishimua rais... Uh, na wisdom. Yeah, wisdom, uh, na wisdom nashukuru sana the current president, uh, the president mm -hmm. na yule president aliyestaafu wakanipa nafasi ya kuenda kuhudumu kama speaker 
eh, bunge la senate na bado uka make decision ya bunge ndio sasa nikapokuwa huko nikasikia tena pressure ya eh, watu kwamba wanataka nirudi na nikaangalia huku nikaona watu huko wajaridhika na pia nikapiga hesabu nikaona eh, unajua speaker unateuliwa na chama ambacho kina watu wengi wale ambao wame katika bunge so vile kura ilikuwa inaenda ilikuwa clear itaenda upande gani kwa hivyo mimi nikajipanga nikasema badala ya kungoja E, ni kuje pengine nipewe nafasi na hiyo ni bahati nasifu which might not come which might not come nikasema acha nijipange na raia ndio nakuja nikarudi tena ndio sasa ningependa kujua when you are not here working what you doing na hiyo najua iko huko nje pia huko nje kuna farming kidogo ninaendelea nayo tunafanya masuala ya nataka kuanzisha kuna niko na ngombe nataka kuanzisha sasa mradi wa zero grazing oh. e, hapa nje kuna avocado tunapanda pale eh ndio sasa naelekea pole 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 na mwanzo so when you're not working hapa ndio huko hapa ndio niko yes ni nini iko hapa ndio ni hapa tuko na nimeweka biogas plant nataka ku encourage watu wetu hasa mambo ya green economy and you know what is it called mambo ya green energy Yes. Yaani ile watu wengi and it's not expensive. Mm-hmm. Nataka kutu encourage kama wanaweza kuweka hii, mm-hmm. wanaweza kulipa kama ni 1000. Sema 5 ama sasa wanaanza kulipa pole pole. It's very effective. Mm-hmm. Nimeweka pole pole. Eh. Na unapata energy yenyewe. Unapata energy yenyewe. Nataka hata ndio natumia. Mm-hmm. Ana wame pool. Mmeingia mm-hmm. kwa one of the rooms hapa inatumika kwa kupika. Mm-hmm. Eh. So system throughout. The city yeah, is throughout. Mm-hmm. System throughout. Mm-hmm. Niko na hii biogas mm-hmm. na niko pia na na sola ile ingine ya, ya kawaida ile zile uliona tumeweka pale naona wewe ni mkulima kabisa eh najaribu eh, kadri ya uwezo wangu hapa nilikuwa na uh, wakati muhula wangu wa kwanza nilikuwa na hii inaitwa nini hii eh, greenhouse eh, nilikuwa naweka nyanya na sukuma vitu kama hizo mboga lakini ikakuja ikawa a bit neglected kwa sababu unajua kilimo inahitaji wewe mwenyewe ukiwa wewe unaweza zingatia eh, ukiwa tena uko karibu mm-hmm. ndio mambo yako yasiharibike sana mm-hmm. so uh, nita revive pia mm-hmm. kwa sababu nataka kuwa self contained my my aim mm-hmm. nataka niwe kama kielelezo nikiwa kiongozi kwa jamii, kwa jamii. Mm-hmm. ili ukiambia watu nataka mfuge kuku mm-hmm uko na kuku. Na hapa naona kuna structure hii. Eh, kuna structure hii tunaendelea hii sasa ni ya zero grazing. Okay, acha nione hii zero grazing. Zero grazing unit. Okay. Hii inatengenezwa kwa sababu niko na ngombe na nataka pia ku improve. Kwa ma- uh, ukweli yani na kilimo cha maziwa. Kilimo kilimo, yeah, kilimo cha maziwa ili ingine naweza kufanya biashara. Ingine naweza kupatia tu hata wale watu wa wajiwezi. Uh, wanakuja wanapata. Uh, so this is a structure under construction. Inafanywa Eh, standard kabisa mm-hmm. eh, nimetafuta it will be done soon naona uko kuna shamba kuna shamba kuna shamba eh, na pale juu ukiona nikiwa katika nilijenga nyumba kwamba nikikaa jioni naona mlima Elgon vizuri, vizuri kabisa vizuri kule juu nikiangalia mimi naona the table mm-hmm. ya Mount Elgon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. wacha tuone hii side nyingine nilisikia pia unaendeleza kilimo kingine side hiyo hapo utapita eh? hey. eh, naona uko sawa so mm-hmm. hata hiyo miti nilipanda kidogo mm-hmm. eh, kutafuta shed mm-hmm. eh. okay. mm-hmm. naona umejikaza naona umejikaza nimekijikaza kwa hivyo next time nikikuja sitakuwa naweza kuona hiyo wall yes itakuwa iko covered uko na watoto wangapi governor niko na watoto watatu wako wapi niko <coughs> kijana msichana anafanya KICC ako na wajukuu wangu wa wilata wametoka hapa jana alafu niko na kijana ambaye ni wakili anaitwa Dan msichana anaitwa Sophie Makelo kijana anaitwa Duncan Makelo ni wakili sasa hivi ni senior research assistant katika high court court of appeal ako na justice Majanja alafu niko na last born anaitwa Wini alikuwa foreign affairs lakini akataka kufanya mambo yake siku hizi ana anaendeleza mambo ya biashara zetu mm-hmm. do they support your politics fully yes they support wakati ya campaign wote walikuwa huku kila mtu anaenda wale wanasema wako na youths <laughs> wale wako na women na hiyo wote wana support hata my wife kila mtu wana support 
If you were not doing politics today, what else would you be doing? I would maybe probably be still in the public service because I have a lot of knowledge in Konayo. I have a lot of experience from what I explained to you and a lot of knowledge. Uh, yes, you are experienced knowledge, person. Uh, so yeah. you still be... I'll public. still be somewhere in public, <laughs> public life. <laughs> Do you regret some of the decisions you made in life? I'm, I have not. I have no reason to regret. <laughs> uh, in fact, Mimi, <laughs> When I say I'm going to thank God for Mungu, what we're going to do is I'm going to thank God because Mungu has made us more than we are. Yes, I'm going to Urumia. I'm going to thank God for the fact that we're going to be able to do what we're going to do. I'm going to thank God for that. What is your favorite music? I'm going to thank God for Mungu and Rumba. Hata kule nikiwa, unajua mimi ni mefanya vitu mingi, hata kule nikiwa. Gavana lazima tuwa ukicheza rumba. Lazima utuke rumba kidoku. Chua kikuu nilikuwa nina, nina, nikiwa Netherlands. Unajua huko ni lazima uji keep busy. Naona tumefika kwa hii, shala. Sasa hapa, tunapanda avocado. Unajua avocado sasa ndi meaza kuwa mumea wa kutegemewa. Na hot cake sasa. Sasa hapa ndiyo... Kutoka huku mpaka kule ni avocado. Avocado. Sasa hii ni muradi mama ndiyo anayendesha. Mimuachia na hee pia hii iwe her pet project. Alright. That's good. Umesema unapenda rumba. Napenda rumba. Tangu zamani sana. Hata nikiwa nikuwa nasema nikiwa kule Netherlands. Nikuwa kifika mambo ya rumba mina kuwa DJ. Uwa kumix. Mix. Kutoka hapa unaingia hapa. Kulikuwa na wale ambao walikuwa wanacheza naweza kuna Latin America wanacheza yao samba salsa. Alafu kulikuwa na kijana kutoka Zambia huyo alikuwa anacheza reggae. Lakini kulikuwa sasa ukiingia mambo ya rumba. Hapo ndio Hapo sasa mimi ndio ninaingia unajua sasa kila mtu nakuja katika awamu yako. What makes you happy? Because you are ever happy. Mimi sio mtu ya kukasirika na mtu. Uh, mimi ni, I'm a very social person. Mm -hmm. e, kutengeneza urafiki, kukaa na watu na sana sana kama umenijua ninapenda sana kukaa na watu. Mm -hmm. On this one nataka tusimame because I want to ask five questions and they will have one answer. Yes. What is your favorite color? Blue. What is one thing you cannot do without? <laughs> At least gym. <laughs> who, who is your best friend? In terms of both life and in 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 politics. Mimi niko tu na marafiki wangu wengi sana. The president is my friend. Yes. Who which meal is your favorite favorite meal? My favorite meal in terms of what what it is or at what time? It depends. Of course hapa you know chicken. I like I like white meat. I'm not very good at breakfast, but I like white meat especially chicken, kienyeji chicken and fish. I avoid starch because of watching uh, my, my your weight, weight and living health. One thing you cannot do without in this house. One thing I cannot do without is um, green, tea. green tea. I hear you. Thank you. Okay, Nina Jua, it has been so good listening to your story. It's one of the best stories in Yazina Mambo Mengi. What is your dream? What is your dream? Where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? You know, sometimes, um, of course, everybody aspires to go higher. But in life, I've learned kwamba unaweza kupanga hivi na mungu na kupangia mengine. Sasa mimi, I just work. I want to do my best where I am today. Uh, Tukielekea uko mbele. Najua mambo itaanza kuonekana utaanza kujipanga. Utaanza kujipanga uko mbele. Kwa sababu last time nilijipanga kwamba niwe governor, mungu wakanibariki ni kakua speaker. Yes. Wasene taka ni inua. So naweza kusema nataka kuwa hii na kumbe mungu wajapanga yu. But mimi I'm serving my last term as a governor kulingana na katiba ilivo sasa. Kwa hivo sasa nita kuwa natoka kwa mambo ya kaundi. Pengine kujiunga na siyasa sasa ya kitaifa. Nina juu na support ingwe. EPL una support? Of course ya uko hapo mimi ni mtu ya aseno. Sao. Hapo kidogo umenipata. Asante sana kunipa nafasi kusikia your story. I love it. And again. Come to Bungoma, Okimaliza, Nione is on Ombe, Okefanya Dairy, and Ikwe Nikibeba, Maziwa, Nikipeleka, Nairobi. Thank you so much for watching Farm Kiongozi. Today we've heard from uh, Governor and former Speaker Kenneth Lusaka. Again, we'll be hearing from another leader. We know their story away from work and in their homes. Adi wakati mwingine, mimi ni Elizabeth Mutuko kwa kwa sasa.